And we'll come to Manchester United's performance in, in just a second. But from City, it felt very much, Micah, as a case of it's what they do. Well, I said before the game, it's about being calm, being composed and waiting for the right moment. In the first half, I thought United defended excellently well. City found it hard to sort of break them down, although they did have some chances. And it's just about playing in normal game, relaxing, believing your ability. And in that second half, the game's always going to open up. Man United defended so well, but they can't do it for 90 minutes. Being that deep, making them short runs, they tire you out, they grind you down. And then in the end, the quality just shone through. It's, it's two different teams, you know. It's one who are trying to find themselves. People have talked about the structure and the style of play. I thought today they did it in certain parts in the game. But in the end, Man City just blew them away with their quality. Yeah, in terms of those criticisms that there have been for Manchester United, one has been about the, the structure, first of all, whether there, there is a definable structure, and, and secondly, about, at times, commitment from, from Manchester United. Were either of those things, do you think, lacking particularly today? I kind of don't want to be too hard on United today because I just thought Man City were brilliant. Man, Man City showed why they're, why they're champions. That's 11 league losses now for, for United. What City do is they find out all your shortcomings. And when you're out on that pitch and it's tough, there is no hiding place. It's like a box, we've seen the box. When you're in that ring, there's no hiding place. And they just wore and wore them down. United made a substitution, Johnny went off after about 69 minutes. They had to change the back four and they just, they were kind of hanging on there anyway. And the stats at the end of the game um, show you how strong and dominant this Man City were. And Man City, even people like Hal and De Bruyne weren't at their very best, but then you have people like Ford and who step up. We spoke about it before the game. An amazing, brilliant player. And United, it still leaves that question mark over Man United. Where, where does this Man United team go in? Particularly when it was the last 20, 25 minutes, they couldn't get near City. City toyed with them. But again, I'd probably today I feel it's more credit to City than really being critical of this Man United team. Because again, Man United, we know their shortcomings, but when you play Man City, it's just. There's no hiding place. So Man United will have to take their medicine today. But again, huge question marks again for this team and unfortunately for the manager. That calmness and belief that you talked about from Manchester City is based on evidence. That's 21 points they've taken now from losing positions this season. They know that they can finish a game strongly. Yeah, I, I think they believe in their, their ability. You see the quality players, like Roy said, I don't think De Bruyne was at his very best today and, and Haaland too. But you've still got Bernardo Silva, you've still got Foden, you've still got stones going into to pockets for when Man United were trying to, to press. And I think the big difference for me today was Man City's bench. If you look at who they could introduce on the pitch and then who Man United... And yes, we all want to see youngsters doing, doing very well, but Man City can bring on a World Cup winner and is involved within the goal. And that is just the difference at the moment. I think I agree with Roy. It's not a time to be very critical of, of, of Man United today because I did see good signs of what they was trying to do. But in the end, they've just not got the quality needed for this level in terms of Man City. I guess that's 11 league games they've lost. You know, that's, that's one scary stat when you consider you look at what United are to give up so many goals and defeats. We spoke last week, it was the Fulham game. They lacked a bit of energy. They, lacked, they had that, but the last 20, 25 minutes, City were just, again, men v boys at the end, and they were just hanging in there, and they were making mistakes. And again, lads coming off the bench, not quite getting up to speed. City's players coming on, coming on and making a difference, giving them energy. And towards the end, then you're thinking, it could be four or five. Mm. I have to take it.